Hello, right, a dead easy one today. Which way round do I pipe up my fuel filter housing? Now, lots of people you'll see online and all sorts of things, they get rid of the original filter head. I have no idea why they're doing that. Unless you have some kind of space constraint, which I never have before, there is no reason to get rid of the stock filter head because it works very, very well. I've proved that they can easily make 600 plus horsepower and they're a nice compact unit. You just put a pipe to it and a pipe out of it. And what I'm gonna show you today is which way the pipes go onto that filter head so that if you're ever wondering, um, this will hopefully answer the question. Right, let me show you how to pipe this system up. So this is the original EDC filter head that would have come with this turbo engine. And this is the original EDC uh, lift pump that also would have come with this engine. Now the mechanical pumps and uh, EDC pumps Shut up! <laughs> both, have, both have the same type of um, lift pump uh, fitment. So they're both two bolts, they're just operated off the cam. Um, and the pipe work and the filter head works with both, which is really good. So, what we've done is, obviously we've reconditioned this pump when we did the injector pump, we've also reconditioned that, that's why this looks so nice. But the point of the video is to show you the pipe locations and directions. Right, come on then. So. In from the fuel tank, imagine the fuel tank's here, it's going to come in and it's going to go straight to this lift pump here. It's going to go in the lift pump, this is a vacuum, so this is the only vacuum point left on this entire system. That is the only place where air can be pulled on this whole system, right? It's going to get sucked into there and then diesel's going to get pushed up out of this pipe. This is the original EDC one, so you don't have to cut anything or make anything. Up there and then into the filter head on this far left port, look. The far left port, so that's in, yeah? That's gonna then pressurize this fuel head, fuel filter head, and then the next point of call is this one here. Now this one is the outlet uh, of the filter head that then goes into the injector pump. So what you would take is an open banjo, the open banjo, and, uh, sorry, open banjo bolt, open banjo, Screw that into your injector pump. We supply these ban banjos with the pumps. The only time that it may not come with a pump is if we've like completely run out, which is quite rare, it does happen. Um, you take a length of hose like this. This is the only piece of pipe work that you need to make, as long as you pay attention to this and you don't chop the pipes off or some other Muppet cuts the pipes off before you've had a chance to actually put this together. So. Push that on there. Jubilee clip. Oh, slipped off, not paying attention. definitely fast forward that for the sake of the video and then tighten that up just making a video <laughs> you can guarantee someone will walk in halfway through thank you very much. <laughs> yeah thank you mate thank you right so okay where were we right so now that's tight so, to go through it again, pipe has come from the fuel tank, it's been sucked there. This little lift pump pushes the fuel back up this from here, up there, pressurizes the filter head. It then gets pushed, the filtered diesel then gets pushed down this line, which I've just made out of a piece of 8 mil hose, and then into this inlet banjo on the pump here. Yeah? So that then pressurizes the inside of the pump because the return banjo, look down the back, that return banjo there has a really small hole inside it. So that holds pressure in the pump, which is what you need. You need that pressure to be held in the pump for this whole system to work. And then that pipe there, this one that you can see that goes from there to here, that is again the original EDC pipe. The only thing different about it is it's got a shorter banjo because this is a mechanical pump. Again, we supply that with pumps. Um, so 
that's it. It's literally that one in, this one is pressurized fuel from the filter head back out, it's clean. And then this one is the return. And into the return, obviously, is this original pipe. You don't have to cut anything. The return hose, which you can buy a return hose kit from us if you want. It's a nice little kit. Um, and then that one simply goes straight back to the fuel tank. So that's in from the tank. That is back to the tank. And that's it. You do not need the, the, um, the pre-filter. That is uh, another problem area because that would normally be attached before the lift pump causes vacuum issues and all sorts of breakdowns so literally take the 10 mil bolt out of there pull that out throw it straight in the bin it's god awful you don't want that yeah take that out throw it in the bin and also the other bit that you don't need to throw away that you want to throw away to keep this all nice and simple is the original preheater in the head so obviously the diesel would have come through and into the preheater in the head again you don't want that that is another place where you can have a, an air leak, air ingress, sort of a vacuum leak. And we want to get rid of as much as that, of that kind of complication as possible. So literally all you want is the pipe from the tank to there. And then that is the only place you can get air ingress or a vacuum leak. Right, I hope that covers. So it's into the head, into the filter head, out of the filter head, into the pump. And then that is the return to the tank. And that is it, it's dead simple. That's how you pipe up your system. That will support 600 horsepower. Maybe not with a mechanical lift pump. Actually, on a side note to this, before I end this, if you are running a, a electronic, an electric lift pump instead of the mechanical lift pump, you would have your electric lift pump mounted as close to the tank as possible, because you need to do that. The pipe from that electric lift pump would just go into there exactly the same as this mechanical version, exactly the same. There would be literally no reason to change any of this stuff. This filter head will happily withstand that pressure the plastic couplings that'll all be fine as well um, so yeah and obviously we've discussed before mechanical lift pump generally is like capable of up to about 500 horsepower maybe a touch more it will do a bit more with the 8.5 superfluids because they have a better inlet design and blah 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 um, but yeah so that that helps you make up your mind whether you want mechanical or electric. But there you go anyway. That is how to pipe up your filter head. Nice, short, simple. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you like our nice engine that we put a lot of effort into. And another one there that I've got to do. Bye for now.